going on YouTube today I'm back with another tutorial and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do the draw on slash paint on effect that you guys may have seen in some of the popular music videos I know they have some pre-drawn assets out there that you can use but this way will make your edit more unique so through the process I'm gonna be giving you guys a couple tips and tricks just to speed up the process so you don't spend all day on an effect that's gonna take maybe one or two seconds maybe less so let's jump right into it in Premiere you're gonna to want to have your clip I'm using a clip from Kodak Black's 300 blackout video and it's just a um, scene of him riding in the window of a car so what you're gonna to wanna to do is start by making cuts every three frames for the duration that you want the effect to last. So I'm gonna go maybe a little less than halfway through the scene. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, C for cut, or the razor tool, C for the razor tool. So that's about where I want it. So now what you wanna do is turn all your cuts into freeze frames and you can do that one of two ways you can go to the beginning of each cut and right click add frame hold or what I like to do is highlight all the clips speed duration just change it to zero that way you'll get your freeze frames Then what you want to do, set your in and out points and export just the part where you made the cuts. So now that we got that exported, I'm going to jump right into Photoshop. So as you can see, I already have my paper texture loaded up, so I'm just going to open the file that we just exported from Premiere and when you open up the video file from Premiere you'll have a timeline that'll pop up and you this will basically be your workspace so I like to keep everything neat and organized so start off by making a cut every three frames just like you did in premiere so one two three one two three so now that we made all our cuts we can make a new layer with the paper texture so grab the move tool and drag it drag it to your sequence, drop it right on there. And drag it back so it's over the video. Make sure you click the layer that you're trying to edit. Because in Photoshop, if you don't click the layer, it won't let you edit anything. So I'll delete this because it's not needed. And now the next step is to change the blending mode. Usually this section works better. Um, lighten screen, color dodge, leaner dodge, add lighter color. So I'm gonna just go with screen. Then I'm gonna go through and make cuts every three frames. Drag all these down to be on one layer. Then with the move tool, you want to scroll over the first frame and you can leave the first frame the same, go to the second frame and then you're going to want to move the paper texture around on each cut to give each freeze frame a slight variation. So now have this choppy image so the next step is to start doing your drawn paint on effects 
but the most important thing about it is to have an idea in mind before you even jump into Photoshop because if you don't have an idea in mind it's gonna take you all day and you're gonna spend all day on an effect that's gonna last one to two seconds if that so just try to go into it with a clear-cut idea something that you know you want to do so what I know I want to do is basically turn Kodak Black into some kind of gremlin creature and maybe do the chain but for the sake of the tutorial I might not I might just do Kodak Black as a simple gremlin type character so I'm gonna jump right into that so what you want to do is you can collapse that layer and then create a new layer drag it back over your whole sequence make a cut delete the excess then you want to make cut every three frames just like all the other layers drag those down and now for the fun part you get to draw whatever you want whatever you like whatever is going to make your edit unique so like I said, I'm going to make Kodak Black into some kind of gremlin creature. So I'm just going to split the colors. I'm going to start off with paintbrush. Size paintbrush. And you guys can get any of these paintbrushes from the Creative Cloud. They have a bunch of brushes you can use. Um, all of them are free. do start your drawing effect so you're gonna want to draw the effect to make it go away so it transitions out of the effect so I'm gonna start by coloring Kodak black in all black then I'm gonna use the paint bucket tool painting his whole face and painting his hand then I'll do the chain I'll do the chain so I'm gonna do the chain I'm try to do like a grayish for the silver brush size down to nine is cool and like I said this doesn't have to be perfect because only gonna last a few seconds a couple seconds then grab my paint bucket tool fill that in put the ring in so I'm gonna go through and do the first layer of the drawing so then I'll move on to the next frame and use these same colors so now around these two clips is where I want the effect to start to die down so I'll do less of the drawing Now I'm going to select a new color and change his shirt to uh, like an off-white. Make sure you guys don't forget any spaces when you're filling in and coloring in. Okay, so now that I have my base down, I just want to draw the faces. I'm only going to draw some eyes and a mouth. And 
and you can add as much detail to this as you want I'm just doing something quick for the sake of the tutorial Make sure you're hovering over the clip you want to edit so what I'm gonna do now is give us some eyeballs and maybe write 1800 on the chain so I'm gonna do that in wait so the last thing I like to do is add a background quick tip on how to make this process a little faster the actual video layer is separated into three frames each so if you wanted to do a background you would have to instead of doing one set of drawing for each set of three frames you would have to draw the background on every frame individually so what I like to do is right click speed duration drag it all the way down to 25 that's the lowest it can go so it'll be slow enough to be one frame so you only have to make the edit one time and for the background I'm gonna go with like a dark purple so I'm gonna use this scattered cloud oh one other thing before I do that I like to click on these layers right click bevel emboss and I like to add a texture also and I just use the textures that are here and this is all subjective you can just play with this stuff I'm just looking to see what will give it a cool look that won't take away from the actual drawing so now I just want to double click each of those layers turn on the texture and the contour once you're satisfied with what you have, as far as that, if you want to do that, um, now I like to do the background and just shade in, start by shading in the whole back. Just give it some texture. And as we go along, you want to fill in less and less of the background. So there you have it, you got your effect. It's a little choppy right now because it's loading. But once I export it, I'll show you guys what the finished product looks like. So I'm gonna export this, hit the little pancake sandwich menu, render video. Then you wanna render it out to whatever or wherever you want it to be. Then we wanna hop back into Premiere import that sequence and overlay it right on top it should fit perfectly right above where you originally made the cuts at this point what I like to do is delete all of the original clip Then I like to add a zoom. So I'll do scale it from about 140 to 100. So that way it gives it some motion. And then the last thing I like to do is add like a film burn or some kind of small light transition. Yeah, six frames is fine. So, add a blend mode to the film burn. And there you have it, a quick effect to add some personal style to your video. Another thing I like to do is add a quick lumetri color. In the creative tab just play with some of the looks 
to see what other colors you can make pop what you can make pop in your edit nice and easy drawn on effect to add your own personal style to a video like i said everything is subjective you can add your own flavor your own style this stuff can come out way better guys all you have to do is take your time go into it with a clear-cut idea of what you wanted to do see i got a little sidetracked even doing this quick tutorial but all in all this is how you do it and that's all i have for you guys today check me out in the next tutorial make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe to my channel for more content more tutorials vlogs bts everything on the way i'm out